ESPN1420.com visiting with Pelicans guard Austin Rivers. First of all, man, how you feeling? I feel good. I'm excited for this year. Where is your comfort level now as opposed to your rookie year as you oh, in year man, three? It's, uh, it's two, different, two different people, man. I'm uh, a lot more mature and better as a player, and uh, I mean, I'm just excited for this year. Um, there's two different players, that's all I can really say. Uh, we've gotten a lot better in all the areas I need to work on, especially adding that mid-range jump shot, and my outside jump shot, being able to finish at the rim, got stronger. So you just mature and you just wise up a little bit as the years go on. That mid-range jumper, I talked to you last year, you said that was a, the first thing you said you really wanted to work on when I asked you the areas yeah. of your game. How did you work on it this summer? I took it seriously. You know, it's one of those things where, oh, I'm going to work on it and you get shots up, but this year it's like, I wouldn't play pickup unless I, I had to make at least five of them. And the next day I had to make at least six, or I had to at least take ten of them. Or I, I, and it just forces you to start doing it, and pretty soon it just becomes part of your game. Um, and then you get confident because you start making them, and then now it's just like I just go out there and I just play. And uh, because of it, I just I play my game through the team's game, and I'm just a lot better as a player. You know, as, as uh, somebody that's a professional basketball player, the business side of things, how do you deal with hearing rumors of you possibly being traded or maybe staying put? Do you just try to block that out and focus yeah, on working on your Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always tough just because you feel like you know somebody or you know a certain situation and you hear something else. and That's just part of the league. That's when you just got to realize it's a business. Um, so I always just tell my agent that I want him to handle all that. Um, if a situation comes up, just to call me. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to focus on getting better and hanging out with my family and enjoying my life. Um, because uh, at the end of the day, I can only control what I can control. You know what I mean? So you can always control as you you can only control as you what you can control as a player. So I mean, that's kind of just been my focus really this whole summer. Dell Dem said uh, a little while ago that, that they wanted to make a point. They wanted to make sure they kept you here this season. How does that make you feel? I mean, it, it does make me feel a lot better um, to to know that they have a lot of confidence and trust in me, and that just puts a lot more trust and confidence in myself um, as a player as well. So I'm just excited to get out there and. and just to go play. Anthony Davis says you, you really love the movie The Notebook. Is that true or false? I do love the movie The Notebook. I mean, it's not my favorite movie, but I enjoy it. It's a good film with good actors. Uh, name, name two people in the movie. Um, well, you got, uh, what's the guy's name? Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Everybody knows Ryan Gosling. And then uh, <laughs> the other girl, she's in the movie, um, what's the other girl's name? The mean girl, Rachel McAdams, I think, something like that. No, I think she's a mean girl, isn't she? Yeah, she's she like, is a beast. Yeah. She's the blonde hair. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just talking basketball and rom coms with Austin Rivers. Yeah. Last question basketball for you. <laughs> Last question great. for you. If uh, if you were having your la your final meal, everybody in South Louisiana loves to eat. Your final meal, you can go all out. What's on the menu for Austin Rivers? Well, whatever my mom's cooking. She is the best cook I've ever been around in my life. So. Uh, probably if I had to choose, probably her chicken pot pie or her fried chicken and like cornbread and uh, cream corn and mashed potatoes. She makes like, this huge thing, so that's probably be my last. And what's for dessert? Uh, my mom's sweet potato pie is crazy. So awesome. Austin, good luck this season. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Appreciate it.